right guys let's have some fun in this video we are going to be creating 3d animations or 3d scenes like popular youtube channels like fern hoog and imperial and they have this really subtle clean and minimal uh, 3d animations which look really nice uh, so we're going to be doing something similar inside of davinci resolve in the fusion page so let's get started i'm going to drag in a fusion composition onto the timeline by default it is five seconds long you can stretch it out to any duration let's just keep this to five seconds for now i'm going to go to the fusion page and here we want to go to effects at the top expand the tools scroll down till you see usd we are going to be using the usd 3d tools over here we are not going to be using fpx this time i believe it was introduced in 18.5 I'm not exactly sure, but make sure you are updated to at least 18.5 to see the USD option over here. Let's go ahead and download a 3D model. So I have this 3D model over here. You can download this from Sketchfab. Just type in your 3D model that you want to download, or you can explore by categories as well. And they have this really nice 3d model of uh, i believe this is a map of a video game uh, but anyways we'll just download this 3d model as a usdz file format and once you download it then you can open up resolve and you have to load that inside of fusion and in the usd we have a u loader just drag that to the flow and this will open up the file explorer and here you can just um, browse for that file that you just downloaded and click on open and now you won't be seeing anything and that's because we need to render this out so we have a u renderer for that if you add that this is the u renderer and now you can see the scene inside of fusion let's just delete this u renderer for now and what we will do is after this loader the u loader we will add in a u merge or actually we'll just just you add in a u camera because this will automatically add in a u merge as well so um, now after the u merge we will add in a u renderer and if you take a look at this u renderer this is how it's gonna look now in the u renderer we will change the camera i'll change this to u camera and we will set the lighting to scene now it's going to turn black and the reason for that is because we don't have lighting in our scene so let's just create a light real quick so i will be using a sphere light and connect that to the u merge and now you can see the scene over here but let's just change the position of this light and you know what before we do that let's just after this loader we have over here let's just add in a u transform and let's go to the u merge let's view this u merge because i want to show you that this model is quite huge and we want to scale this down so that's why we added this u merge and in the scale over here we'll set this to 0 0.006 and now if you zoom in you can see we have this model over here scaled down and now you can just uh, select the u camera and just kind of push it back like so now let's take a look at the u render view and in the u camera we'll go to transform click on use target and we will change the position of the camera like so and you can just position it anywhere that you want so since our sphere light is somewhere in this alley let's just focus there like so and let's just zoom into it All right that looks good now you can see that we have textures in our scene but we want that monochromatic look uh, kind of like that clay look and to to achieve that look we have to simply after this loader we will add in a u replace material click on add and this will get rid of the textures in your scene and replace it with this white color and you can if you want to you can change that as well but let's just keep this white for now and we will change this fill light because this is too intense 
So let's just do that. And I'm going to just increase the position and change the uh, Z position as well so that we get some nice shadows in our scene. Something like that. And if you don't see the shadows, that's because we need to go to Review Renderer and we have to enable the shadows. And now you can see the shadows over here. Let's again position the light properly so we can see the shadows like so. And don't worry about this um, empty transparent area. We can fill that in by going to options and disabling the check underlay. And that should kind of fix it. So you can spend some time changing the sphere light and the placement of the light matters a lot. So just spend some time with the sphere light and get it positioned correctly. That's how you add a 3D scene to Fusion. Now let's add some more elements to the scene so we can add in another u loader so just drag that in and this will again open up a file explorer and you can add anything that you want i'm going to add in uh, a 3d scan that i downloaded it's again a usdz model click on open and i'm going to copy the u transform from here and paste it after this u loader and connect this to the U merge. So now you can see this guy in the scene. And now we want to actually, this is too big, so let's just reduce the size. And I'm gonna actually make this 0 0.0009, or maybe even less, so something like 0 0.0005. And then we can just rotate this guy and move it up like so All right cool that's how you add more elements to the 3d scene and again it has uh, the texture in it but we don't want that texture we want to have that clay look so i can copy this replaced material and paste it after this u loader and that will get rid of the textures from this guy as well then you can go ahead and animate the camera so let's just do that i'm going to create keyframe on translation and let's go to the last frame and change the camera angle like so all right so we have an animation like this so that's pretty much it. That's how you can create a basic 3D scene inside of Fusion. Of course, uh, you can spend some time, add more elements to it. You can add uh, even some custom shapes to this. But yeah, that is basically it. Lastly, you can connect this to the media out and render out your animation. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. If it was, do leave a like and also subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one.